Hello, Fear the Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Yep. I think all of the characters actually say different things, but unfortunately there's no way to show that off right now, because if I switch characters now, it won't actually make a difference. But as you can see, teleport will work in this dungeon, which is good, because uh, this dungeon can be a bit awkward. According to Strategy Guide, we need to get to the end of this dungeon, leave, go and talk to someone, and then come back and get to the end of this dungeon again, and then leave again in order to get Yang. So, it's a complicated process, and I might as well show off their levels here. They're all uh, just prior to level 55, basically. Okay, I'll go up this way first. It's, uh, it's quite a pretty looking place. I mean, I'm sure I'll get sick to death of what it looks like at some point. Wow, um, this is going remarkably well. I admit, I thought the uh, the enemies would be more powerful here. Never mind. Uh, so we just got something, and where is it? Ah, Siren. Ah, oh, I don't. I really don't know why anyone would want nearby enemies to attack. Let's have a look at Angel Arrows. So, they're in fact confused, but they're not that powerful and they're already confused. And that's, that's about as useful as giving my characters a bistro. Um, Wow, it was easy enough to find this. Ah, see, I don't trust these big, uh, these big green plants, like, uh, like those ones. They remind me of, uh, enemies in Final Fantasy VII that, uh, gave me a heck of a lot of problems. Well, by gave me a heck of a lot of problems, I mean, killed my party outright with no effort at all. <laughs> very, very quick. So, yeah. Fortunately, I don't think they have the same powers in all Final Fantasy games. But, uh, yeah, in case you've never played Final Fantasy VII, creatures that look like that have an attack. That, uh, that causes death on your party, if I remember correctly. Either that, or it causes confusion to your entire party, but whilst your entire party has confusion, there's nothing they can do to stop themselves from having confusion, so... Speaking of confusion, I'm confused. How, how to get that chest? I have no idea. Never mind. Maybe there's another entrance and I just can't see it right now. I don't know. I suppose I'll have to look for it. Seriously, these enemies are going down way quicker than I thought. My levels must be um, pretty good. I guess. Oh, I'm not sure how she managed to do 
that to herself. I wouldn't have thought it's that useful. But never mind. I'll see if there's another thing that uh, that leads in the direction of that, because I would have thought there'd be a way to get in there. Perhaps in the next room. I think I've uh, I think I've seen everything I can see in this room. Besides which, I can always choose to walk back. And um, oh, sugar choose to walk back and get all of the things that I didn't um, get here then, so there's a way to target all, I'm just not sure it's going to be used. Oh, yes, I you should probably get rid of the bog wits first, um, so she doesn't turn you into a uh, frog would be quite awkward. That's be a way to get those. I'm hoping there's a way to go upwards and thus get the uh, things we couldn't get in the other room. I'm hoping that at some point uh, the uh, the design of level will of the cave will sort of all come together and uh, it will be clear um, where you have to go in order to get these extra things. I'm not sure the enemies here can actually attack you. So far that you've done nothing. Really? Seriously? Nothing? A rise sounds quite useful. Actually, I already know what a rise does. It does the same thing as raise, except uh, that instead of just bringing you back to life, I was wrong, this thing can attack. Instead of just bringing you back to life, it brings you back to life and full health. So. I'm getting a lot of level increases here, that's good. Oh right, more than one entrance, yeah. I figure um, entrances will lead to different parts of the cave that we've already been into. Right. I'm not going to show off this battle because we have actually already encountered all of these before. Some of them just not for a while. Okay, that battle was quite awkward. Um, never mind. Status effect and attacks are annoying. Um, it's official. See, he, he, he had three status effect impacts on him. Maybe I was being a bit, uh, foolhardy to assume that I won't get hurt in this dungeon.
Um, okay. Let's force us back to where we were. Which means that that entrance up there doesn't bring us back to where we were. It brings us to somewhere new, sugar. Somewhere new, sugar. Interesting, it doesn't hurt them whilst they're standing still, but it hurts them whilst they're walking. Well, it's mildly interesting. See, that's what that does. Float again. And Vigard Float doesn't use a lot of uh, MP. Okay. I am finding this place a little confusing. Just a little. Ooh, let's have a look at this. I don't know if we already had one of those. I wonder if anyone can use it, she probably can. Ah, uh, but it's not that useful. mind. This thing just seems to lead its way back around here, so if I miss something, well, I miss something. Those things are more trouble than their work. Um, I probably could defeat them, I'm just not going to bother. No, I'm still not going to bother. I'd be surprised if this goes anywhere, but... It goes here, apparently. I... don't think I opened all of those. I think someone else did. But never mind. I really am finding this cave confusing. Let's go up here for the moment. Ah, oh, for freak's sake. Now look, again, if if I should happen to not manage to get 100% on every room in this cave, and I suspect I will actually manage to do so, but if I should not, then fine, I haven't. I'm, I'm not going to make a big deal out of it.
Okay, well, I suppose... I don't really know. I'm, I'm hoping an obvious sort of exit once I've gone to all of these uh, places where you need to approach them from a specific part of the room in order to get them. I'm hoping that it will become, always become clear where you have to go. Because I, I feel I could get very lost here. Now, the thing is, if that's a hole I can go down, it might not be, but if it is, it might not actually be possible for me to get back here and get to those other two places. So... But, I'm wrong. Uh, you can get back easily enough. That's good to know. Or you can't. Well, obviously I've been into this room before, so I would imagine that there was a way to get back up again. <sighs> There's no point in skipping over every battle against these things. I'm just going to use a very powerful magic attack and... Uh, Hopefully, get rid of them all at the same time. Yeah, bad breath is the name of the thing that could get rid of all of my characters at once. Dance as a frog is just too hilarious. Um, if it wasn't so inconvenient, I would, uh, I would probably just um, leave him as a frog. And I get attacked again out of here, since you can't go back again to where you were, apparently. See, if, if I wasn't being interrupted, I could show off the fact that you can't get back to where you were, but since I am being interrupted, Nope. I'm happy to leave any time you're ready. Thank you, Your Highness, for um, 
uh, condescending to um, to let runaway work. I feel greatly privileged. I don't care. I really don't. No? Maybe if the music wasn't so... so repetitive, I would care, but... Alright, well, there doesn't seem to be any way out of here, and, uh... It's pretty clear that going back to the entrance won't actually be that harmful. So I'm going to go back to the entrance like that. I'm going to save it. And I am going to come back in here and then try to find my way to a bit of it that I haven't been to before. But unless it's a new enemy, I'm not going to show anything off until I have found something new. Okay, we are somewhere new, and, um, apart from just to irritate you, I'm not really sure what the point is in, uh, Bad Breath causing three different status ailments when all, when just turning you into a fog will be enough to stop you from being able to attack it. I think they just, uh, they just want to waste your resources, basically. I am slowly filling out this map. Save point. Alright, I'm gonna save. Looks like I'm surrounded by cauliflowers. Anyway, um, I am gonna have a sort of skirt around and see what I can find in this particular area. Might be a boss, might not. I don't know. We'll see. I like the fact that the floor is actually uh, moving. I mean, arguably it's quite disturbing, but um, also I think it looks quite cool, so. I'm going to have to edit out these fights at some point, and it's going to be a pain. Still, let's have a look at this bow. I think we might switch to that bow, but to do that we'd have to select the character who can use a bow. Oh, right. No, not that helpful. I really ought to sell some of these bows. Oh, 
I don't know why anyone would be stupid enough to want more characters to attack you. I could understand if there weren't loads of boss fights here. I really could, honestly, but... Apparently also poison only works when you're moving. Anyway... Um... I am just going to end the episode here, because it seems like a convenient time, and uh, I will see you next time.